Yo, what's going on, everybody? Day 3 here. And before we start the video, just like always, if you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. And yeah, let's go right into the video. So, um, we already know that the Utah Jazz are, like, having a problem right now with, with the, their two best players. Um, last video, I did a Woody Gobert, trading Woody Gobert. This time, I'm gonna be trading Mitchell, and I will also probably trade Gobert because like a lot of things could happen too um here's a trade that I did this trade is so interesting some of you guys may like it some of you guys may don't but I just did it for fun and I basically did a Devin Booker for Mitchell um I don't know I don't know if Suns fans will like this I don't know if Jazz fans will like this but I think it's a win-win even though uh, Booker is getting paid more money but eventually Donovan Mitchell is gonna ask for a lot of money I also gave up Mike Conley so we get rid of his contract for Ricky Rubio. This is a trade that I did. I don't know if you guys like it. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. Who knows? Maybe it does happen, but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think the Jazz would trade Donovan Mitchell because, let's be honest, who would you rather have, Rudy Gobert or Mitchell? Like, who do you want to see play basketball? Rudy Gobert, who, in my opinion, I think he should have not made an all-star. You got players like Jalen Brown, who I think should have made it over Rudy Gobert. Bradley Beal. So many other players that could have made it over Rudy Gobert. You even... Rudy Gobert made it over Devin Booker. Even though Booker technically made it because of Damian Lillard. But yeah, you, you, you get the point. I'm also... I can also see this happening. Rudy Gobert's on a one-year deal. I can see him asking for a max contract. I can see him wanting a max contract. And I can see the Jazz not willing to give him a max contract. And because of that, the Jazz could end up trading him. This is what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to trade him too. Because I'm going to assume that Rudy Gobert wants a super max contract or something like that. And the Jazz are not willing to do that. One year deal. So yeah, why not just trade him instead of paying him a lot of money that I, in my opinion he don't deserve. Because you got other players like M Mitchell Robinson who... They play similar, then, you know? But, yeah, let's see any trades here that I that I may like. I can do this trade right here for him. We, we like, this saves us so much money, to be honest. These two, like, like M Mitchell Robinson, he's like Woody Gobert, kind of. Like, if you see the stats, they're really not identical, but they're not that far off if you think about it, too. Um, I might do this trade. I can also toss in my first round pick. I don't think I don't want to do that, but let's see what we get. Uh, let's see if the trade offers get better. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna do this one right here for him, but I'm not gonna offer my first round pick though, cause I could use that to draft somebody else. Or 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 Joe Ingles. Um, I already know him. He he goes down to like 75 overall for this season. I can trade him where he has the most value. And let's see the trade offers if they improve. Like, look at right here, Jalen Brown. I can easily get Jalen Brown on the on the on the Jazz. Um, either Jalen Brown or Robertson. I if this were to happen, oh, you, you got your mom Murray there. You got Perzingis too. Um, to be honest, I'm kind of feeling Jalen Brown right now because like the Celtics, I do get Rudy Gobert, who is technically an All Star. He's an All Star, so. And he is um he is older, Rudy Gobert's older. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do this trade right here for uh, Jalen Brown, Rudy Gobert for Jalen Brown. And the Celtics, uh, they get a nice defensive center. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do this trade right here. All right, so we got Jalen Brown. I don't think Celtics fan will be ha will be happy, but Celtics, you're getting a you're technically getting an All Star. You're getting Rudy Gobert on your team. Like it's not like you took the biggest L and. Woody Gobert is a better rated player in this game, too. Uh, he, he's an 87, while well, uh, Jalen Brown is an 86 overall. So, yeah, uh, that's a trade that I went with. I don't know if you guys like this trade. Devin Booker for Mitchell, Brown for um, uh, Woody Gobert. Yeah, I don't know if you guys like it, but, like, I like doing random trades because it's pretty interesting. Um, Flash Finding, I already took care of it be before the video. So now let's go all the way to the draft. I don't really think I need that draft pick to be honest, but I'll use it on somebody. I want to try to somehow get Mitchell Robin. I don't know how I'll be able to do that, but I'm going to try to get him. 
Robertson. Oh no. I'm gonna try to find a trade for, for Mitchell Robinson. So I'll be back with you guys if I can find a trade for this guy right here who plays kind of similar to Rudy Gobert. Alright, so I managed to get uh, Robertson on the team. I didn't really have to give up much. Here's a trade that I did. Only gave up a 21st pick, Tony Bradley, a uh, future first round pick that won't be valuable to us. And then two second round picks and Mie Oni. Probably said his name wrong for Robertson. Uh, yeah, so now we have Jalen Brown, Devin Booker, Robinson. Do you guys think this team could go far in the playoffs? Do you guys think this team is good? Now let's head on to free agency. Uh, we don't have any draft right now. We don't have a second round pick. Let's go to team player option. Let's see what we got available. Yeah, I don't need any of these players. I don't need them. That saves us some money. All right, qualifying offer. Same. I don't really need any of these players. That's for Royce only. I'll get them back. Why not? Save us a little bit of money. All right, moratorium period. All right. So, we got to get Jordan Clarkson. We need a backup point guard. Or I can trade uh, Ricky Wubia for a uh, better starting point guard. So, yeah. All I need is... Uh, I guess I'm good with Robert Williams as a backup center. I want to use a backup small forward shooting guard and point guard. I don't know if we have the money, but we'll see. Uh, for point guard... Trey Burke. I know I always get him, but like... Come on, he's like the youngest one here. Look at these point guards. They're so old. Like, except for Chris Dunn. But I don't want Chris Dunn. Give me Trey Burke. I know I always get him, but like all those point guards are old as heck too. And then a back of small forward. I'll take somebody like a. Uh, um, how much money are we gonna have left? I didn't even check. Yeah, I'll take probably Joe Harris. Let me trade one more player too. Let me trade Ed Davis so we can save up a little bit of money. I forgot to trade this guy right here. Trade into Cleveland. All right, so give me for back of small forward. Uh, I can go for Furcon Corkmoss. He's only 22 years old. This team is gonna be so young, so I'm not expecting to really be like a nice team after this. Yeah, give me um. Well, he's he wants more money, nine million dollars. Give me Furcon Corkmoss. I will that get me um trade bird? Yes, sir. All right. So let's get um Trey Burke, Furcon Corkmoth, and then Jordan Clarkson. I'm I am gonna oh no okay, so we might not be able to get Furcon Corkmoth. I really want Jordan Clarkson on the team, so that's tough. But yeah, let's get Jordan Clarkson on the team. Let's give him a player option, three-year deal. Let's see if he'll accept it. There we go. Okay, now we got Jordan Clarkson on the team. So all we need is a backup small forward. That might be a weakness right now. A backup small forward, and there we go. We got him. Oh, we can get a uh, Joe Harris. Okay, I'm gonna get Joe Harris. Point guard we're good, shooting guard we're good, small forward we're good, center we're good. Um, yeah, I can trust Robert Williams as our backup center. All right, so yeah, give me Joe Harris. Uh, two year, yeah, two year deal. Give me Joe. Hopefully he signs with us. And there we go, Joe Harris on the team. All right. Uh, so yeah, I am gonna simulate to the beginning of our uh, first season and I'll be showing you guys the rosters and the rotations so here's gonna be the start lineup for our first season we have Rubio, Booker, Brown, but uh, Bojan, Bogdanovic and Mitchell Robinson then off our bench I traded for Terrence Ross I traded Joe Harris for Terrence Ross because Joe Harris he uh his rating went down by like he, uh, 76 overall so we got an 80 over on Terrence Ross Jordan Clarkson Trey Burke and Robert Williams. So our bench is not too bad. We, we have a good bench. Um, the starting lineup is not bad either. We have Booker and um, Jalen Brown. Um, Mitchell Robinson is not bad either. This team is not too bad. Uh, we'll see how we do with Ricky Rubio. If we don't do that good Ricky Rubio, maybe I'll trade him for a better point guard. But we'll, we'll see what happens for now. Here's a trade that I did right here for uh, Terrence Ross. Uh, here's, here's the system proficiency. We're gonna go with a balance system. That's our best found available Booker and Brown really does good at that And then the rest of the team does pretty good at that, too. Let's go to power ranking real quick NBA.com had us at 20 2k sports 13 Ergbo niche At 20 so it looks like we're behind the According to 2k we're behind the Pistons. I Don't know how we're behind the Thunder. Okay. All right, so I am going to make it to the beginning. I mean, to the end of our first season. And hopefully we can at least get to 50 wins 
and get to at least the second round of the playoffs. That's the goal for our first season. So we made it to the end of our first season. We did pretty bad. We ended off on a way, on a on a losing streak right here. We just we suck. We we just did so bad. We even lost to the Knicks. Somebody's gonna get fired. Um, at one point we were doing so good, like right here the, during the All Star break. We are so good. We are 29 and 21 or 30 and 22, something like that. We were good, but then just like we just started losing games for some reason. We lost to the Sixers, we lost to the Hawks, the Knicks, like and we lost to the Pelicans by one point. Yeah, we, we just started losing. Um, I don't know if we been in the playoffs. I thought this shit was gonna hit like. 48 or 49 wins, but nah, we didn't make we, we I don't we might not even make the playoffs Okay, so here's the all NBA teams right here Um, uh, where anybody on, on the jazz? No, okay, we are Wow, where wait, where are we? We are actually the third seed. What? Wait, what? Wait, all right, okay Um, here's a player stats right here Devin Booker, of course, had a team in scoring, like always, 54 and 90 club. Here's Jalen Brown, not too bad. Here's Ricky Rubio, Jordan Clarkson. Yeah, I'm gonna look to fire the coach. Um, I don't, I don't know how we're the third seed because, as you can see, like the, the um the the Mavericks have a better record than us. I don't, I don't know why it's like that. Um, yeah, so we're the third seed, I guess. Let's see if we can beat the the Grizzlies in the first round and get to the second round, possibly. The, the goal was to get to the second round. We're actually looking good in the playoffs. Let's not blow a 3 0 lead. Okay, there we go. G give me New Orleans. There we go. I don't want to face the, the Warriors. That team is so good in this game. All right. We beat the Grizzlies by 1 point, 39. Okay, the series was not even that close. Four points, okay. Second round, we got the Pelicans. Can we advance to the conference finals? Uh, probably not, but he, oh, tie series. 3-2. And we're in the conference finals. And oh, okay, at least we don't got to face the number one seed. Okay, we're in the conference finals. We got the Mavericks. This, this is where our season is going to end because the Mavericks are so good in this game. Who bought out this last game? We actually won by one point. That's crazy. 20 rebounds for Mitchell Robinson. 21 and 20. All right, game one, we won by 35, game two by 11, game three by 13, game four by eight, game five by 14, and game six by a point. All right, I don't think we're gonna beat the Mavericks. They're a better team than us. They have a better record. Uh, we're just, for some reason, a third seed, but yeah, we, we didn't get to the final. The Mavericks are so good in this game, so good. Same for the Hawks, too. All right, so it looks like the next won the NBA championship. If you guys made a uh, far to the video, if you guys made it far to the video, do you think the Nets are gonna win a championship with Kyrie and KD? By the way, Dylan Brown stepped it up in the playoffs. Same for uh, De Devin Booker. Okay, off season. Somebody's gonna get fired. Okay, I know we made it to the conference finals, but just our record wasn't that good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fire uh, Quinn Cinder like. Yeah, I'm gonna fire him. Um, yeah, he, you're out of here. And let's go for. I don't even know. Give me a uh, Frank Vogel. The Lakers always do so bad after the first season. So give me Frank Vogel. Why not? I like him in real life. I'm a Lakers fan. He's doing pretty good for the Lakers. So just give me Frank Vogel. And okay, okay, okay. There we go. Let's say we're gonna get Frank Vogel on the Utah Jazz. Okay. All right, so. We have the 19th pick. Let's go to NBA draft. I'm gonna choose best one available, or I guess I can trade our both of our picks for something. We can trade it for the Celtics. Um, let's see, let's see. We can trade it to the Pelicans. They're always good in this game. I mean, let's go to mock draft. I wanna use this pick, but at the same time, I don't. They have a seeking Roko per per game. Yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna trade this pick for a future pick. I'm gonna probably trade it to like the yeah the Celtics. All right, so team player options. Let, let's get our some of our players. Yeah, Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, Rudy Gobert probably has a max contract. I traded to to Boston, right? Where Rudy Gobert? I want to see the Celtics. They get oh they oh Rudy Gobert's a free agent. Okay, 
qualifying offer who are you i don't know you um i don't need you so yeah you're not coming on the team okay free agency we do not have a lot of money we could get Lou will we don't have a lot of money um it looks like we're pretty good we need to get robert williams back or i i guess i can go for a better center but small four we're pretty good shooting guard we're good point guard we're good um let's see what we got available Lou Williams, uh, what about for center? Robert Williams, $20 million. Bro, what? Why are you asking for so much money? $20 million, bro. Like, what, are you on something? Like, okay. All right. Give me then, uh, I guess, Nerlens Noel. Give me Nerlens Noel. Twenty million dollars, bro. Is he on something? Like, yeah, you're not coming back on the team, bro. I'm not giving you no twenty million dollars. Yeah, no, you're not getting that money, especially since you're a bench player. All right, let's get Nernis Noel. Uh, yeah, I'm not giving Robert Williams no twenty million dollars. Nobody would, unless if he becomes a superstar or something like that, or an all star. All right, so yeah, uh, I don't gotta do anything else. I don't really need anybody else. We're pretty good. Um, Ricky Rubio, he's on a one-year deal. I'm gonna try to find a trade for maybe a better point guard, but I mean, I'm okay with Rubio. He did average basically 10 assists. So yeah, I am gonna submit to the beginning of our second season, and I'll be showing you guys the rosters and the rotations. So here's gonna be the start lineup for our second season. We have Ricky Rubio, Devin Booker, Jalen Brown, Bojan Bogdanovic, Mitchell Robinson, who's almost a 90 overall same for Jalen Brown. Then off our bench, we have Jordan Clarkson, Terrence Ross, Trey Burke, and Nurens Noel replacing Robert Williams. Not a bad replacement, to be honest. Okay. Perimeter centric. That's the one we're going to go with for the best find available. Um, we have Frank Vogel, better than the uh, Jazz coach right now. Um, power ranking. Let's go to power ranking real quick. This is our year to do something. NBA.com medals at 14, 2K Sports at 11, Eric Bonish at 14. So we're behind the Raptors, the LA Clippers. They don't, wow, they, they, wow, they just lost Kawhi Leonard. Where did Kawhi go? Where did Kawhi go? Where did, where did, oh, he went to the Bulls. That's bold. He went to the Bulls, wow. If you're a Bulls fan, you basically got Scottie Pippen. You basically got Scottie Pippen, okay. I am gonna. Well, the good thing is, Kawhi and Giannis are in the way, are in the Eastern Conference. We don't gotta deal with them. I just realized that right now. All right, I am gonna submit to the end of our second season, and hopefully we can get to 50 wins and get to the second round or even the conference finals too. So we made it to the end of our uh, second season. We were probably 40. I'm probably gonna lose this last game, 42 and 40. Um, yeah, we did so bad. We got the same record. We didn't improve. We didn't do worse than last season. Um, here's our NBA teams right here. I don't think not, nobody on our team made it. We are the eighth seed. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat the Grizzlies. They're so good in this game. Um, here's the stats. Jalen Brown and Booker set it up. I don't know what's wrong with this team, though. Like, Jalen and Booker are good. Like, what's the problem? Maybe it's that we need a better point guard than Ricky Rubio. Because look at his efficient. 39% from the field goal. That's not good. Like, may maybe that's why because we need a point guard, a, a better point guard, a better, starting, a better starting point guard. But we have one more season. Maybe it's because of that. Uh, I'm probably going to move on from Ricky Rubio unless if we win the championship. I've seen 8 seed beat 1 seed so many times. And it looks like we're giving the Grizzlies a hard time, though. Can we beat them? And look at this. Um, we I literally created the the worst regular season team, but somehow turns it around in the playoffs. Have you ever heard of a team like that who does so bad in the regular season, and then for some reason turns it around in the playoffs and ends up beating the best team in the Western Conference? And let's see against the San Antonio Spurs, who could have had Brandon Ingram. They beat us in the second round. All right, um, we did. We had a bad record, but we ended up beating the West, uh, the, the best team in the Western Conference in the Grizzlies. I don't know how, but that's how it is. And then we got the Timberwolves winning the championship with D'Lo and Cat. 
Do you think this team will ever win a ring? D'Lo and Cat. Do you think they'll ever win a ring? I really hope they get Anthony Edwards, but they, they also have Malik Beasley. Now they everybody doing the, in the playoffs. They let, oh Devin Booker. Devin Booker. Yeah, Devin Booker. What why did you play so horrible? Probably in the second round he played horrible. He got clamped up by DeJounte Murray or something. Okay. Uh a staff signing. I don't wanna really do anything besides get a head scout and an assistant coach. I'm probably gonna get this guy right here, Donna. Uh Donna and then his last name. Yeah, okay, Donna. I'm gonna give him that money. Let's get him on the team. There we go. Head scout. Let's get this guy on the team. There we go. Alright. So oh we okay. We have the third pick. We have the third pick in the NBA draft. This is the trade that I did. If you guys remember, where, where I had the the two picks, the 19th pick, and then and then I was like, I want I, I want to draft somebody, but at the same time I don't. And then yeah, third pick. What can I get for this pick right here? Oh, the Miami second pick. Okay. Oh, we can get Buddy Hill too. Jalen Brunson. The Montez bonus. Another guy who, in my opinion, I think should have not made an All Star, but I mean it. It's your opinion. I think Galen Brown should have made it over him. You got Kelly Oubre. DeJounte Murray. DeJounte Murray. 87 overall. 16.7 assists. Wow. And he's more efficient. You know what? You know what? You know what? DeJounte Murray. And we also got Andre Robertson. Yeah. But at the same time, we do got to get rid of Bojan Bogdanovic. But, wow. He did so poorly this season. Barely 40% from the field goal, thir barely 33% from three. How did uh, Roberson do it? You already know he cannot shoot three pointers. You know what? Since we've been doing so bad, even in the playoffs, we've been doing uh, pre okay. I'm gonna do this shit right here for DeJounte Murray. I don't really have, we have one more season left. I don't have time for a rookie, to be honest. Give me DeJounte Murray. Why not? 87 overall point guard, I will take him. Okay, so yeah, we don't have any picks after that. Okay, let's go to team player option. We gotta get our players back for our final season. All right, there's nobody there. Okay, qualifying offer. All right, free agency. So, uh, Booker and Brown are still here. Two year deals. We still got the John. Okay, we got the John T. Murray, Jordan Clarkson, Terrence Ross, Nernan Snowell. Okay, and Andre Roberson. I need the backup point guard. Um, a power forward and a center which is gonna be um uh wh wh what's his name Mitchell Robinson all right for power forward Tyler Coving uh Coving nah did I say I don't think I said anything wrong but yeah Mitchell Robinson damn I gotta give him his money I have to we don't have we he's not restricted I gotta give him his money and process so this is our final season so who who cares we can get Melo. I'm not doing that because he's 38 years old. Or I can get Luca. Luca Samanic. Who would I rather have, Luca or Tyler? Luca or Tyler? Uh, I'll take Luca because Luca. Uh, I can give him a training camp. His rating could probably go up to 80 over. He's 22 years old. So yeah, I'm gonna get Luca. Uh, not Luca Doncic, but Luca. Alright, so that's really all I'm basically gonna do. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get Ricky Rubio for, I guess, our backup point guard. Because I don't think we'll be able to afford Trey Burke. So I'm gonna get Ricky Rubio for backup point guard. And yeah, let's get uh, Luca Rubio and Mitchell Robinson. I don't know if we'll be able to afford Luca, But we'll see about that. Let's see if we can get Luca. Hopefully. Alright, so... Yeah, there's probably the three players I'm probably gonna get Luca, Mitchell Robinson, and Ricky Rubio. So hopefully they all sign. Let's see what happens. And there we go, they're on the team. Alright, so I am gonna submit to the beginning of our final season. Now we're showing you guys the rosters and the rotations. So here's gonna be the start lineup for our final season. We have the John Timmery, Devin Booker, Jalen Brown, and Luca and Mitchell Robinson. So yeah, DeJounte Murray, good thing we got him. He's based almost a 90 overall, same for Mitchell Robinson. Then off our bench, we had Clarkson, Noel, and Ricky Rubio, and Terrence Ross. 
I don't know. I was thinking who I should have uh, played Terrence Ross or Roberson, but Robert. I don't really know. I'm, I might just uh, give nine minutes to Ross and nine minutes to Roberson. To be honest, I might just do that. Yeah, that, that's what I'm gonna do for now. If it doesn't work out, then I'm, yeah, I'm gonna change it. So yeah, this is gonna be the team. Um, we're gonna go with a balance system. We, we can go with perimeter centric. But balance system, the Jonte Murray, Devin Booker, and Jalen Brown, the green thing is all the way at the end. So, yeah, that's why I'm going to go with. And perimeter centric, we haven't had as much luck because, like, yeah, we, we didn't do that good with that. Even though we did make it to the second round. Here's a power ranking. NBA.com at 5, 2K Sports. 11, Eric Bonish at 5 behind the Warriors. I got Taco. Taco Fall. Taco Fall might, I think Taco Fall is 7-6. 2K, they, I, th I think they lie about heights, 2K. Putting Brandon Ingram at 6'7", like, I think they, they be lying about heights. There's the Miami Heat. Top of five, I think he might be 7'7", seven, seven, to be honest, but. Uh, here's the, the, uh, Bucks. Not too bad. They got Beverly with Giannis, okay. And then the Chicago Bulls with Kawhi Leonard. Hey, at least we know how to deal with them. Unless if, we, uh, unless if they and us make the NBA Finals. I am gonna send me to the end of our final season and hopefully we can get to 50 wins and get to the conference finals more than 50 wins in the conference finals so that's a goal for now so we made it to the end of our final season uh we were 47 wins hopefully yeah 47 and 35 not too bad Giannis is your MVP I'm not surprised at all and yeah nobody in our team won any awards here's our all NBA teams right here all NBA second and All NBA third. Did anybody here make the team? I don't really check because nobody does. Okay, we are the sixth seed. Oh, and we have the Dallas Mavericks in the first. I would have preferred the, the, the Timberwolves, but we got the Mavericks. They're so so good in this game. Here's Devin Booker. I mean, I guess Deontay Murray could clamp him up. Does Deontay Murray even have clamps in this game? Does he on Hall of Fame? Oh, okay, he has it on gold. Maybe he'll lock down um, Luka Doncic. Probably not going to happen, but who knows. So, yeah, the team was all right. Good thing we got DeJounte Murray. He helped us uh, have a better record in our previous two seasons. Here's uh, Clarkson, Mitchell Robinson. We can honestly upset the Jazz, to be honest. We're, the, we probably did bad because we did have Luka. Luka Samanic. Where's he from? Croatia. Isn't Dragon Bender from Croatia too? I might be wrong, but first round we could upset the the Mavericks. We're that uh, we're that good of a team, but we're probably gonna lose it like in a game seven, a tough game seven, two two. Unless if somebody turns it up on the team, let's say Booker drops like seventy points. Oh no, okay, just like I said, game seven. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, same with same cast. If I jump in this game, I'm probably gonna mess it up like I always do. Oh. oh. You know what? I'm okay. Actually, we won. And guess who turned it up? Our three players, our big three. Good thing we got DeJounte Murray. DeJounte Murray, 11 for, uh, he probably, uh, locked down Luka. No, he, okay. No, he didn't. All right. Let's see what we're going to face. Give me, uh, Memphis. Give me Memphis. Of course, we got the Blazers. All right. Second round. 2 1. 3 1. Let's get that 3 1. Let's get 4 1. 4 2. There we go. You see, we're, we're bad in the regular season, but we're good in the playoff. This is one of the weirdest rebels I've done in a while because, yeah, we're bad in the regular season, but good in the playoffs. I would rather be a bad team in the regular season and be good in the playoffs. Playoffs matters. It doesn't matter who you are. If you make the playoffs, you have a chance to win the championship. Okay, can we get to the NBA Finals? Can we? Oh. Oh, game seven. Come on, I need LeBron James. I need somebody to step it up. Game seven. Oh, looks like, okay, okay, we gotta win this. We're up by, eh. There we go, we won. Game seven, we're in the NBA Finals. Good, bro, I'm so glad we got the Yonte Murray. Like, he's, the reason why we're probably even in, in the Finals because of his defense. Okay, I know the Hawks are so good in this game. But can we finally win the Jazz a championship? Something Carl Malone and John Stockton couldn't do. 
Oh, okay. Let's force the game seven. Come on. Ooh, let's force the game seven. Come on, Deontay Murray. Go hard on on on, on Trey Young, but and of course we fall short. Actually, yeah. The Atlanta Hawks won the NBA championship. They're so good in this game, bro. Like they're just so good. I mean, at least adding the Deontay Murray. At least had at least adding the Deontay Murray was something good because he got us to the finals. Um, he got us to a better record. Um, yeah, if he, yeah, we're at the end of the video. Let, let's say everybody did. Let, let's say everybody did. Um, Booker, 26 points. He showed up in the playoffs. Jalen Brown showed up in the playoffs. The John T. Murray showed up in the playoffs. Almost two steals, so the defense was good. That's why I got him, because of the defense. Robinson showed up in the playoffs. Everybody did good. It was good enough for us to be two game shorts of a NBA championship. Not too bad. Um... Yeah, uh, we're finally at the end of the video, sadly. I would like to do one more season, but, like, it's going to make the video long. I mean, I could actually do, but I'm, I'm going to, like, skip everything. But now, but now we're, we're at the end of the video. If you guys made out with you in the video, please like this video. If you want to see, um, if you want to see the Jazz keep Donovan Mitchell over Woody Gobert. But if you don't, then don't like the video if you don't, but. Also, subscribe if you're new. Happy Easter, and I'm out.